To love someone long term is to attend a thousand funerals of the people they used to be. To love yourself means the exact same thing. If you're lucky, you'll get to experience the death of a dream at least once in your life. You might feel it coming or it might take you by surprise. Maybe you thought you knew what you were doing, but you don't. My academic struggle is real, like really real. And I can tell that one of the reasons why it's working out or will work out, hopefully, is because I just don't quit. I can't stop because I've already come so far. Like who, who quits in third year? Maybe you thought you knew who you were the whole time you were lost. Maybe you have no soul left and every good thing is gone. Maybe there's no way back or forward at all. Maybe your heart is broken. Maybe you're on your own. And then you grieve. Have mercy and be gracious unto me, O Lord, for I am in trouble. With grief, my eyes weakened, also my inner self and my body. For my life is spent with sorrow, my years with sighing. My strength has failed because of my iniquity, and even my bones have wasted away. Just grieve. This isn't how things were supposed to be. You might be thinking, this isn't me. Honestly, I don't think I've ever known who me is. Turns out you are just a void. And life is empty. If you let it, despair becomes friendly. Light avoids you and no light means no truth. Lies become everything. Fear becomes you. There is no strength to be found. No comfort or hope abounds. I, I pray you make it through. We were designed to live through something rather than to attain something. And the thing that we were meant to live through was designed to change us. The point of a story is the character arc, the change. You can't go on without a story any longer than you can read a book about nothing. Beginning again means change. At some point, you're done grieving. Your tears are dry, your mind is empty, your heart no longer feels like stone. Your life is bare though. You could sit in the silence, just breathe if you need to until you're ready to live again. Once you've accepted that your dream is indeed dead, that the gap between who you are now and who you once wanted to be is now made infinite, this is what you'll find. There is so much room for more. But more takes Courage. Courage to not make the same mistakes, to commit to trying, to give up what hurts you, to hold on to what saves, to want better, to do better, to let go, to move on, to write new stories, to feel new pains, to fail, even in new ways. Godspeed to you.
this year has honestly been my favorite year, but not for the reasons that you might think. It's been my favorite year because it's been the most difficult year of my life. I think I can genuinely say that what I've experienced this year, it's, it's just been different, man. It's been so much pain, but also so much growth. And for that reason alone, it's going to go down as my favorite year so far. I thought that last year so many terrible things happened. But for most of 2022, at least I felt safe, right? I was in school. I was in a great relationship, what I thought was great at the time. And I just knew where my life was going and knew what my future looked like. And so, you know, there's nothing that you could tell me, like... I was certain that the future that I wanted for myself was coming. But that's not how the year ended. So I started 2023 very drained, very empty, just very tired as well. It was just, it was a lot. But we got through it. I mean, this is December and here I am talking about 2023 has been the best year for me. And that is only because I have been able to let go. Like, let go of the past. Let go of things that I thought I knew. Let go of certain relationships, certain friendships. It's been a lot of dying to self, as the Bible puts it. It's been a lot of unlearning. It's been a lot of letting go of notions of who I think I am and what I think life is, what I think love is what I think I, I should be doing, who I think I'm supposed to be. But I recognize that that's only possible because I've been brave enough to start afresh multiple times. It's also been a lot of humility. It's just been realizing over and over again that, bro, Michi, you actually don't know anything. You don't even know half of the things, maybe not even a quarter of the things that you are quote-unquote supposed to know. And it's okay because... I just feel so full of potential. I just feel like going forward, things are only going to get better. These things take time. Fortunately, time is all we have. Time is all we genuinely have. So might as well put it to good use and hope that something great comes out of it. Thank you so much for watching this video and in general just for supporting this channel. It's been really nice to see how many people are willing to engage and interact with me and the things that I've had to say in the past six months it's been great and I'm excited about the direction in which this channel is going lots of nice things are coming up and I think you're gonna be gonna be happy you're gonna be made proud or maybe that's just me I'm biased because I really like my videos these days don't tell me gee, I said that <laughs> but yeah Monday thanks for watching I'm going to go and find a movie to watch now <laughs> so bye